Hi everyone, it's another day and today I'm actually finding enough time to do my iPad Air and Microsoft Surface 2 comparison video so I'm just getting things ready just down here. I'm going to have to just set the camera down. Basically what I'm doing at the moment is I am going to be showing the previous generation of iPad so I've got to clean the screen to make sure it at least looks presentable and fingerprint free so we we'll give this a quick clean basically the day for me today is in the morning i.e. now I'm going to be doing the recording session and then this afternoon I'm going to be catching up on paperwork and emails so it's sort of quite a busy day for me today but I do like to keep these devices looking clean because no one likes to see the smudges on the screen when I'm doing the demonstration videos so that's the old iPad Air cleaned uh, old iPad Air the fourth generation iPad cleaned and um, now I'm just gonna plan what I'm gonna do with the comparison videos and set up the main camera so I've finished recording all of my iPad Air videos uh, and now I am doing something to my previous generation, the fourth generation iPad. This is it here. And I will tell you why, but I'm going to do an erase all contents and settings. It's asking for my password. So I'll just pop that in. And then it's asking me, do I want to erase my iPad? This will delete all media and data and reset all settings. And I'm going to say, yes, let's click erase. And the reason I'm doing that is because we always, oh I've got to tap erase again, yeah, erase again. The reason I'm doing that is because when I get a new iPad in, we've always done this in this family, is that I give the previous generation to either my son, my daughter or my wife. And my son had my previous generation iPad. It's now the turn of my daughter. So when she gets in from school, she's gonna be very, very happy. So I've just had lunch and now I'm back to doing some more editing. Actually before lunch, I had a friend come round to pick something up and that was a really nice break actually because it meant that I had somebody to speak to as passionate about technology as I am. Um, it's just nice. I can talk about technology all day, every day, as you know I do to camera. Uh, talking to an actual person and bouncing backwards and forwards the conversation is a little bit different though. Even though I love you all of course. So. Um, it was, it's just a nice break, a nice break. So I've had lunch, it's already very cold in the studio, so I've put the heater on again, and I'm just starting to edit these videos together. It's uh, been a strange day as well, because although my wife's still off, she's on holiday this week, uh, she's had to go out with the rest of the family uh, to attend something, and they're due back soon, I think. So um, it's gonna be a full house very soon, so I'm gonna crack on and get this editing finished before the house is full. So it's been a busy day. I've actually uh, just eaten dinner and I've now done about 20 minutes of sort of tidying up. I believe in tidying up at the end of the day because tomorrow's a fresh start. Tidy sort of working environment, uh, tidy studio equals a tidy mind. It just allows me to think a bit clearer. And the other thing that happened today, of course, was the YouTube commenting system. I actually tweeted out about this. They've integrated it with Google Plus now, and I'm not sure if it's rolled out in every country, but certainly here in the UK, uh, the comments are very, very difficult to now sort of find at the moment. It'll probably take a little bit of getting used to. It's not exactly broken, but it seems like when you do something on Google Plus relating to a video you've uploaded, that then gets put into the comments on the YouTube page, which I find is very strange. And then when somebody comments directly on the YouTube page, it comes through as a notification as a standard email that you can then reply to normally. If somebody comments on your video on a Google Plus page, it also goes into the comments and then you can reply on either the YouTube page or the Google Plus page. And it just seems all a bit mixed up. And also it's sort of broken the commenting system on the official YouTube app on the iPad that no longer displays I've got any comments on my videos, which is totally bizarre. But hopefully, with a little bit getting used to, maybe a little bit of refinement on Google's part, 
it will fall into place, I hope. So, in closing today's video, thank you again to everyone who watches these personal videos. I hope you all had a fantastic day too. I really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch what I do during my day, if that makes sense. I, I just really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the comments as well. So I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thank you.